16th around 1.37 in the morning. I was just leaving Dave & Buster's. I went ahead and um, while I, I was leaving, I realized I was getting pulled over. So I pulled over to Sand Lake Road, over there to the, on the side of the road. The officer came in, he asked me for my license and registration. Um, I gave him my license and registration, well, I gave him my license while I continue to look for my registration. Um, he went to his car and he did, I guess, look up for my information and all that. Then, immediately after that, he came back into the car and asked me um, how long ago it's been since I've been in an accident. I told him August 26th and he asked me if I tried to bend my license plate. And I was like, yes, but they told me not to touch it because they're still waiting for all the damages and the estimates to come in. So, I'm still working with my insured. He then asked me for my registration. I told him, unfortunately, I do not have it. That's when he went back to his car and I pulled my window back up and, and he came back and asked me to step down the vehicle, step out of the vehicle. When he came back, I did pull my window up and I asked him like, why do I have to get out the car? It's kind of dark and I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. He automatically got aggravated and asked me again to step out the car and I repeated, could you just please let me know why? He says, I will let you know why, because I'm an officer of the law and I will let you know why. He then stepped away and I didn't think anything of it, so I just pulled my window back up. He then called for backup and that's when I saw another car come and this, he went ahead and parked in front of my car tactfully. And then the other officer, the first officer came and he went ahead and tactfully parked the car from the back. That's when, out of nowhere, um, he came with a wooden baton out of his vehicle and started banging the window. The officer that went ahead and tactfully parked his car in the front came on the driver's side, opened my door and asked me to unlock the car door and to stop resisting the officer. I told him I was not resisting at all, but he still steady kept continuing to break my door. Um, I eventually, after my window was open, just opened the door to show the officer that the door was never unlocked. But by that time, I was already res arrested for resisting an officer. Um, from there, I was put into the patrol car, and I looked on the, the dashboard uh, on his computer and realized he had completely wrong information in. Um, the tag number was, the tag wasn't even my tag, and which kind of confused me because you could perfectly see my tag numbers. He ended up running the registration and um, looking at the VIN number and I still wasn't getting any answers at all. I asked him like why was I pulled over? He wouldn't answer and after he found the VIN number and he retyped in my tag number he realized everything matched. My registration was up to date. The car was owned by me and um, I still didn't get any apology. I was still arrested and booked um, at 33rd for resisting an officer. Right now, I'm still trying to find a lawyer, a good lawyer, that can help me with my case because I do have to go back to court on the 15th because of this whole matter of October. Congratulations to our guys. They won a game on the road. Uh, very hard fought, tough game. Uh, Windy, crazy conditions. Uh, thought really the first half, uh, offense, we only had the ball four possessions. We scored two touchdowns. Had another drive that we were going right there for half. We had drops that cost us the first one. We only had 26 plays. But defensively, we give up too much. Too many nickel and dime yards. Too many things that way. So the eight o'clock, 14, 10 and a half. All right, that, that's a good half. Second half, extremely proud. Come out and had a big time drive to get momentum in the game. Come out and go 21 to 10 in the game. Defense comes out, gets a great stop. We go back, get a big play, get down there, ready to get up three scores, which changes everything. The dynamic of the game, great momentum. And we got second and I think six on the second five on the five, something like that. Get a daggum holding call. Get moved back. We end up getting the field goal out of the game. So, you know, we get up 24 10, but, you know, we moved the ball, scored two out of two times. Uh, everything's going well. Defense holds it. We give up a little bit of yardage. You had too many silly penalties on defense. There's a we had interference, face mad. I mean, just, I mean, some crazy things. And you say, even though they don't score, we did a great job against scoring defense, but you give up field position. And on a day like today, when it's so windy, that is critical. And we've got to stop those. And it's the first time we've done that on defense, but we had a lot of undisciplined penalties right there on defense. We got a target lower, we tackle, we got a 
Now hold, do some things in there. We'll look at all look at all the calls. But then we get to.